Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Pi game with Pi Open GL and obviously Python tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is how we can take our um, block generations and turn them even and into an even better infinite uh, possibilities sort of idea. So, right now, uh, we have a working version of infinite block creation. Uh, so this will just continue happening. But we obviously have a couple of problems that we can notice right away. And some, one of the major problems is blocks just kind of appear out of nowhere. Um, and so that's no good. Also, we can avoid all blocks by simply scrolling up like this. <laughs> and then we don't have to worry. So we need kind of handling to handle both of these um, events. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing... Uh, that I'd like to, us to do is let's go ahead and modify uh, the new or basically set vertices function here and you'll see that we have max distance min distance and now we're gonna add two more parameters um, the first one whoops the first one will be uh, camera underscore X and we'll set that default to zero and then we're gonna have camera underscore Y and again we'll set that to a default of zero and this will be we'll be passing through where are we in the 3d environment then we can make boxes basically that correspond to where we are next uh, we see first of all let's go ahead and we'll come down here and well, right away we want to we basically flip camera X and Y <clears throat> so camera underscore X equals negative one uh, times the int of camera X and then we have camera underscore Y equals negative one times the int of camera underscore Y so we're just flipping those around now um, now like what I was saying before you need to have enough movement on either side of the camera or enough possibility for cubes on either side of the camera up down left right to account for the person literally just pressing and holding their arrow key just constantly moving over to the side to avoid cubes so we need to kind of account for this so now what we're going to do is x value change and we're going to say x value change equals camera um, well, it's a random dot random range of camera underscore x minus 75 to camera underscore x plus 75. So where is the x? And then 75 units on either uh, either side. So now we'll take this. Let's just copy, paste, and instead of camera x, that's camera y. And that's good enough. Um, Z change, uh, we don't need to change anything there. So now we've basically, we've got set vertices. Uh, that is, is done. Okay, so now what we want to do is we're going to come down into our main loop here. Um, and we want to do a few things. First of all, we've been continuing to like kind of place ourselves a little randomly um, here. And, um to an extent, I guess that doesn't really matter, but let's just for simplicity's sake, go ahead and just replace that with zero, zero. We were doing that whenever we were looping the main, um, the main loop, you know, 10 times and having us being like a random location. So the cube looked like it looked like it was coming randomly. So, uh, so we've done that. Uh, the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is you've got x move, y move, and now let's go ahead and do a cur x, we'll say equals zero, and cur underscore y, uh, we'll say equals zero. <clears throat> then what we'll go ahead and do is we'll come down here. Where do we have the x and y move? So we've got GL translate and all that. And the other thing that we, we want to do is we're going to say cur underscore x plus equals x move and then cur underscore y plus equals y move. So we'll modify cur x and cur y, which is the current location. Uh, subsequently, whenever we go to define here this cube dict set vertices, we've got new max int camera z, um, and really mm, we don't 
we don't want the camera um let's see I think what we'll do is first of all the new max so the new maximum is the new like how far out uh, can we go? We'll do basically camera Z minus max distance times two. So basically added this, right? So now the new max is basically where are we now minus, you know, or, or moving out the max distance times two. So that's the maximum distance for a new cube. And now we have, we already know. Uh, what new max is because that's what we just said, right? We've just redefined what new max is uh, And then the minimum distance, right? So the closest to the camera possible is actually going to be camera Z minus max distance and So the reason why we're doing that is because when we were saying like, you know The cube can be anywhere between the camera's view and the max distance was cubes were just popping up in our face And we can't have that so now cubes will not pop up in our face. They will all pop past, just past the clipping plane. Um, or, it, well, just past the clipping plane to, you know, basically two clipping planes away. So there's that. And then now finally we have to pass the uh, camera's X and Y coordinate. So we'll just say cur underscore X comma cur underscore uh, Y. And that should basically be, basically be it. Uh, the other thing I wouldn't mind having us do right now is let's just go ahead and comment out pygame.time.wait. There's really no reason to have that, uh, and I'll, basically because um, of, we're, we're pretty much like going to be like right on the line of, of heavy processing, so I just don't think we'll, we'll need a, a timer there. So anyways, let's go ahead and save and run it and see, see what we come up with here. Hopefully no, no major errors yet. So as you can see, cubes are kind of spawning. One major problem that we have at the moment, well, first of all, we don't have any new cubes yet. There we go. I was beginning to wonder if we would get new cubes. Um, so we've got some new cubes coming. Um, so let me move this over a little bit here. Um, but we can see they kind of seem to be coming in, in groups, which kind of makes sense because they're all being made past the clipping plane. And then once there's no more, we kind of have some more. Now, there's a couple things that we could do. Like we could co we could go up. Um, sorry, I had this running on a different monitor and then ignored it. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Um, first of all, past a cube can go away. We don't need to be printing that out anymore. And I'm going to get rid of delete list and then basically all that uh, since we don't need it. Um, right, I was going to add more cubes. So for X and range, let's try uh, 75. See if we can do that without lag. Uh, it's still a little laggy for me. Um, part of the problem is just the distance that these are traveling at any one time. Let me speed up the distance. Um, so it's moving in 0.5. Let's go ahead and move it. Let's go move in twos. Nah, it's still pretty, still pretty jittery for me. Um, and but uh, let's go ahead and test a couple of things. So let's first of all let's move. Uh, oh wow, the player move needs to be a lot quicker. Um, I suppose since we're, uh, you know, trying to tweak things, this really just brings up the point that we need to have some more constants here. So, um, up here is where we're going to say, we're going to go ahead and say game underscore speed. We'll say that's two. So game speed will be, uh, basically down here. Where is it? Where we move. So GL translate, right? X move, Y move, uh, replace two with game speed. So whatever we set game speed to will be the speed of the game. And then we'll say uh, direction, direction, speed. Um, we'll say that's a two as well. Um, so then we can take direction, speed, copy that. And then basically we can come down uh, here uh, where you have X move and Y move. So direction, speed, and then direction, speed. And this will be negative one times direction, speed. And again, direction, speed, negative one times that. And then direction, speed. And so now we can modify these, these values a little easier. <laughs> um, and then we'll make that 50. So 50 cubes, game speed's two, direction speed is two. Uh, let's run it. All right, not bad on my computer, so we'll stick with that. And then now let's go ahead and try to move up. Okay, so we're just constantly moving up here 
and we're still you know we don't have as many cubes as we would like you know necessarily um, and we're actually being able to avoid basically all cubes but the concept of infinity is clearly working um, the question is are we uh, still gonna have people able to cheat just by doing this like will they ever run into a cube so in theory we might need to generate the cubes further or we can make the game go a little faster uh, but something would have to give there okay so anyways uh, that's gonna conclude this video so we've kinda covered a lot of things but you know the movement where are we generating new cubes kind of off the screen so we can keep the player moving um, they can basically go infinitely in any direction and there will still always be cubes coming their way um, so that's that if you guys have any questions or comments on this video feel free to leave them below otherwise as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time